welcome to our YouTube channel. My name's Greg. My name's Aidan. We are both PGA Assistant Professionals. I work at Cam Moore Golf Course in Dunfermline. And I work for Craig Donnelly Golf, based at Clinic Activities in Kirkcaldy Fife, and also Dunfermline Golf Club in Dunfermline and Fife. We've been lucky enough to be allowed to use Clooney's range today for our first video, so we hope you guys enjoy. So today, we're going to be doing a what's in the bag, where we'll both take you through what we play day in, day out, just to give you a wee insight on the specs and what, what shafts and what clubs we play. So I'm going to start with my wedges. In the bag at the minute, I have um, bulky SMHs. So um, I've got the 60 degree, and it's a M grind with 8 degrees of bounce, and it's just a standard wedge flex shaft. Um, with the, the stock grip as well. Um, that's like a chrome finish. And then I've got the black finish in the 52 and 56, which are an F grind and an S grind, with 12 degrees of bounce in the 52 and 10 degrees of bounce in the 56. So um, I've had these in the bag for quite a while now, and they've worked well for me. And that's, that's pretty much it. So moving on to the irons. I've had these for probably about a year. Um, they're actually these are a bit different and they're a half inch shorter and also two degrees flat. Um, they were custom fit to myself. They are the tailor made P7 MCs. Um, really nice club. Uh, got on really well with them. I've got KBS tour stiff shafts and I've also got a full cord grip which is um, quite rare nowadays. Moving up the bag, I've got a Play a two iron, which is a tailor made P790, it's the older model. I just can't take it out of the bag if I'm honest, it's a great club. Um, shaft wise, I have a Hazardous Smoke 6.0 stiff shaft, and then again, just the stock grip. Uh, this is a great club, especially for playing Scotland where there's loads of links courses and just kind of keeping it low and under the wind. And even, even in wind, I can hit it high and it just goes for miles. It's a great club. And then moving on to the three wood, I've got a Celtic Manor Resort head cover where I've played a few times. Uh, so we've got the Alta CB stiff shaft, 65 gram, and just to stop grip again. This again is back to standard length, same with the two iron. The irons are the only things that are a wee bit shorter. Um, I'm looking to get fitted for some new woods this season. I've not, not been fitted for woods before. So with the upcoming season coming up, I'm looking to get, to get fit for new woods. But at the minute, um, that's been a great club for me as well. Moving on to driver, again another club I've had for a while, but uh, it works really well for me. And I'm looking, I'm all looking to upgrade it next season, being being fitted for a new club. But this this has worked really well for me as well. It's a G425 LST, and everything on it is standard. It's a nine degree. It's left at nine degrees. The weight for the the toe and the heel is just right in the middle. It's not been moved. I've got a ping ping tour. Uh, 65 gram stiff shaft as well. It's, it's a wee bit flexy for my swing speed at the minute, which is around about 110 112 miles per hour. But uh, honestly, it's a great club, stock, stock everything, and I just I can't really miss with it if I'm honest. But uh, look to get look to get that upgraded moving into the new year. Uh, get myself some upgrade. So moving on to the putter. A putter that I've had in the bag for quite a while, it's been cut down uh, a few inches, so it's down to about 30, 30 inches. Um, it's a Scotty Cameron Phantom X 5.5. So I've had this for a couple of years now, and it's the first mallet putter I've went to. I've always been a, I was always a blade putter before, but honestly, if I had moved to a Scotty Cameron, I wouldn't go anywhere else. It's, it honestly feels so good off the face and everything like that. Moving, moving into the bag, uh, I don't have much at the minute, so obviously big pocket, we've got waterproofs, uh, stuff like that, in range, which doesn't really get used, um, I've got my valuable pouch where I'll put my phone, stuff like that, uh, in here, an empty kind of bottle for me, that's the juice pocket. Um, ball wise, uh, I usually play, a, I've been playing a Bridgestone recently, but I've run out at the minute, so just kind of playing a Pro V1X, um, Titleist Pro V1X, and I've also got my 
by a ball, ball markers and pitch forks. Um, looking in here, I've got my, my put out gates. So these are um, help warming up my practice in my putting. So they're just me gates. You just set them up and it just helps make sure you're starting. So they go in there. It just helps you know that you're starting your putts online. And it's, it's a good warm up for before you go out to play. And if not, it's just good for like putting drills as well. So make sure your putting's where it needs to be. Um, love. I play a, if I can find it, a foot joy cabretta soft. So a foot joy cabretta soft. Um, it's, I've been using them for a few years now as well. And I'm just, I would say probably the best glove on the market or one of the best clubs on the market anyway. For myself, definitely. I've also got the, um, the alignment sticks under this wee head cover as well, so that's good as well. But apart from that, we've got my umbrella obviously, and that's about it. Thanks guys. Right, on to my bag. So, starting off with the wedges. So, just need to blow some dust off them. This one, Cleveland. Tour action, 53 degree, no idea what degree of bounce. I love the grip on it, I've had the grip on it for about 4 years, I've had the club for about 10 years. But if it's not broke, don't fix it. I also have a 58 degree scratch Japanese wedge. I had a, fifth, I had a set of these. But I didn't like the 53, so I switched it back to my Cleveland. So for irons, I used to have Mizuno MP69s, but I've changed recently this season to Callaway Apex TCBs, and I'm loving them. I've got 95 gram stiff shafts, um, the Nippon Pro ones, tapered with lambkin grips on them. I used to play S300 uh, with my Mizuno blades, oh. but they were a bit too heavy. And when I got fit for these, I just felt like I knew where the club head was throughout my entire swing, and it was a lot easier to control. So get fitted because it does make a big difference. So I've got pitch and wedge all the way up to four iron. After that, like Aiden, I've got two iron. Kayla made P790 with a hazardous smoke six six point zero low spin ninety gram. I've got two extra layers of tape on this lovely grip. This club is a treat. Any situation that you know you don't feel comfortable hitting your driver, or you want to just keep it in play, tee that up. That's good. So, moving on to fairway woods and hybrids, I've had this for a while. Titleist 915H. It's a two hybrid. I've got it set at 18 degrees. The shaft in it is a 95 gram Rogue Aldila shaft. Stiff. Again, I love this club. Um, it would take quite a lot for me to replace it. But here's the competitor. Excuse the head cover. So it's a Epic Flash. Three wood. Got given this by the treasurer at Camo, so that's that. And I've been hitting it really nice, um, almost further than my driver. So it's got a 6.0 sh uh, stiff shaft, even flow Project X, 65 gram. I'm not sure if it's going to stay, it's just a little. Now, onto the big dog. Just take a second and have a look at this head cover. It was gifted by a member at Camo. 
You know, that's dinosaur. The old M4, carbon wood. This has a 60 gram stiff Mitsubishi chemical. I don't know how to say this, 10C shaft. And there's nothing wrong with this. Tensai. 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 I'd, I'd say there's nothing wrong with this, except I feel like I'm maybe missing out on some of the newer technology that could be offered by a new upgrade. Um, when I took this three wood out, I remember just giving this a bash, I was hitting it further than my M4. Um, so that makes me think I might need an upgrade. Last but not least, got a lovely Scotty Cameron Select, uh, not Select, a Goal 5R. It's not the original length, it's been cut down quite a bit. Forces me to stay over the ball, keep my eyes where they need to be. There's not much in my bag. Um, glove. But, here's my actual glove. Why is it pink? Because it's a lady's glove. Fits perfect. And on this side, Can't just play golf in the summertime. Canmore Tower. Shout out to Canmore, it's their 125th year since they opened and they decided to let me be the assistant pro. Was that a good choice? Absolutely. In here, I've got a ball bag, got balls, tees, got to keep your clubs clean, cut hat, and I've this range finder, tells me how far away I am, scorecard holder, and the last course I was playing at, good body. So that was what was in our bags. For the next part of the video we'll be heading off to Jamaica to play what was going to be a 10 hole match but we realised we weren't as prepared as we first thought we were and the camera died and ran out of storage so uh, back to oh, the drawing board it was. So there'll be three holes, we'll let you just to give a sneak peek of what you'll be wanting to see on this channel but uh, we'll put it in there anyway just to see what happens and uh, we'll be getting another co vlog out as soon as we can. But thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy the next few holes. Yes. So here we're on the 9th tee in Jamoy, 434 yards, part 4, water right and left. Taking a bit of a risky play with drivers, but... It's the first hole. We'll see how it goes. Let's get it. Alright, I'm going to drive her too. If you can follow that. <laughs> <laughs> Can we start again? 
185 to the pin, but we've got 224 to the guy in the blue, we'll play to that. 224. Nah. I'm not going for the green. You'll lean up? No, I'm just going right a bit. We'll take this to carry it over 220 and we'll go to the right, just in case. It's not perfect strike. I should jump back from the hill. Come on. Can you see that here then? It's about 20 degrees. Yeah, that's a good shot. It'll be a bit long. It'd rather be long than wet. That's fine. What car are we going with? It's a bit chunky as I got the legs. Anywhere close to the mine and you'd be doing all right. Shot, son. Greg here now for his par. I've got a three footer for my par, so this needs to go in. A bit longer than he was hoping for for his par, but see if he can hold it. Nice roll, good speed. Unlucky. Get you that. Now, uh, Aidan, to win the hole, one go one up after one. Should be pretty routine. But the camera is rolling. One yep, up. nice one. One up. Yards, over a wee bit of water, Yep, good strike.
found Greg's ball, we found Greg's ball just here, just next to the water, sitting down, sitting down quite a bit, but the green's just there, so let's see if we can chop one out here. So we found Greg just off the back here. And a wee bit of trouble again. And a wee bit of trouble again. Sitting down a wee bit. But we'll see what we can do. Green's just here. Unlucky. Really tough. No backswing there. This to sink the dagger in my back. It's gonna be a tough game for me, but that's the games I like. And two up. Two up, two. Well done. Here on the 11, 172, stroke index 2, so one of the harder holes in the course, I've got 7 iron. Over a wee bit of wind this way. Oh, yeah. 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 Beautiful day up at Jamoig, it always is. Let's see what you got here then. Just watch that, watch that wee pond. It's drawing. I don't know if I've zoomed into the green, but... It's correct to go now. At seven and it's just on the back edge and it was a wee bit heavy so Greg's chased in eight iron. So let's see what he can do. Under a wee bit of pressure now he's two down through two. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, that's a lovely hole. Hit that. Good light, it's a bit short. Give me that one. Yep. Greg here now for these two. Get back to one. Great too. Ah. Unlucky. Oh, oh. you got a chicken left on that bone. Just for a half. Take your time. <sighs> Go 
Go three up for three.